everybody. It's 9.07. I'm going to sit down here. So, uh, I didn't want to recap or react to what happened in the first hour because it was pretty much just um, airing the last the two dances for each couple and then some behind the scenes stuff but nothing really comment worthy so there was there was a huge for the start of the nine o'clock hour a huge opening number some really bright colors and uh all the pros are out there it was really good looking and then right after that they were all standing all the stars were standing on the stage and they were going to announce the first two couples that are safe First one was Laurie and Val. Well, that was obvious. The second one was Rick and Emma. I'm like, what? So, at this point, I think it means either Jake, Maureen, Ryan, or Amber will be going home. Yeah, uh, Jake was my favorite coming into this. I'm like, I loved Wizards of Waverly Place, so I was hoping he could do well, but looks like he might be out. I'm hoping the people my age are watching because uh, I've heard I heard like the average viewer age is 63. At least a while ago. I'm scared now. I don't know. So, welcome back. It is 9.14, and four more couples were, fate were revealed. So, Mary Lou and Derek, Ryan and Cheryl, Maureen and Artem, and Babyface and Allison were on stage. They announced the first that was safe was Mary Lou and Derek. They announced the first couple in Jeopardy was Maureen and Artem. Oh, so first I'll talk about Mary Lou. Yeah, it was expected. She was one of the best. She was number three, but yeah, she was really solid. You know, Maureen, I mean, she's got a huge fan base. I really don't think she's going to go home. But uh, you never know. Her dancing has not been up to par, but she's pretty popular, so I don't think she will, but you never know with this show. They announced Babyface and Allison were safe, which is great. I mean, he hasn't been really big in a long time, I don't think, but he's killing it out there. I think people are understanding that, and plus, we got an older audience. Like, Maureen thought Babyface was like the biggest celebrity ever. So, yeah. I think he, I think he's got a lot in him. And then it was announced that Ryan and Cheryl are in jeopardy. Now this is interesting. He's the most talked about celebrity, but not for the right reasons. So um I really don't know if there're going to be a lot of people protesting against him or if it worked in his favor the protesters cuz everybody felt bad for him. I I'm really not sure he may leave. I think it's going to be Jake, unfortunately. I really wanted Jake to spend a good amount of time on this show, but it doesn't look like it. So I think he's got a lot in him, but, you know, if you don't bring it the first two weeks, you know, could leave. Happened to Red Fu. Anyway, it's getting juicy. Welcome back. It's 9.30. Half an hour to go. And four more couples were revealed as safe. And four couples' fates were revealed. So James and Sharna, Jake and Jenna, Vanilla Ice and Whitney, and who's the other one? Calvin and Lindsay were all on stage. They revealed that the first couple, oh, before that, they had a nice performance from Charlie Puth and Dea, and uh, Val and Sharna were dancing. To uh, we don't talk anymore. <laughs> but then, more elimination. They said the first couple of them that was safe was Calvin and Lindsay, which is good. You know, I think 
He's got a lot of energy. He's been doing really well. The next couple that was safe was Vanilla Ice and Whitney, which is great. I mean, he's he's a little bit out of his comfort zone, but he's really enjoying it. I've seen him a lot in the packages tonight. He's really supporting everybody, especially when uh, Ryan Lochte had the incident the other night. He's like, you're a gold medalist. We all support you and stuff like that. Then the next couple that was safe was James and Sharna, which is good because they're top-notch. But James is a top-notch dancer. Of course Sharna is. She's a pro. But uh, I was scared like it wouldn't have much of an audience. But I mean, I don't know if he has much of an audience. He could have gotten the least amount of votes and still been safe, really. And then they revealed that Jake and Jenna are in jeopardy. I think Jake might be gone, really. I mean, Maureen and Ryan are a lot bigger names than Jake T. Austin. Maureen McCormick, Ryan Lochte. I mean, we've got one of, like, the biggest... An actress from one of the biggest shows in history. And then um, Ryan Lochte, an Olympic gold medalist. I mean, Wizards of Waverly Place was big. But, I mean, it doesn't have that generational appeal and you know it's and it's newer so i don't know it's coming on day is gonna perform hey so it's another break um there weren't any rev more results revealed in the last um part there were some performances and what i thought was interesting there was a whole thing about how cheryl max and Derek are coming back and there was a whole package, and then there was a whole dance. It was, like, epic. You saw, oh, wow, all the crazy moves they can do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What I thought was kind of weird, what, I don't know, but they didn't include Emma and Allison. Because this is supposed to be about all the pros that were coming back. They didn't include Gleb either. Like, um, I guess you could say, like, Derek... Max and Cheryl are the most established on the show. They've done, they've all of them done at least like 15 seasons. But people like Emma, Allison, and Gleb have been gone and nobody really cared. I don't know, that's just an observation. I mean, both Derek's had five mirror balls, Max has had one, Cheryl's had two. I mean, I guess they didn't really care about the others. Even though I think they're they're a big deal, but anyway. They're not as big a deal. Although Gleb has done four different versions of the show. That should be pretty remarkable. But they didn't really acknowledge it. I guess because the American audience didn't really care. Anyway. Yeah. So it's nine fifty two. Real quick, Tara and Jana are safe. Amber and Max are in jeopardy. So it will either be Amber, Ryan, Jake, Maureen. Amber, Ryan, Jake, or Maureen. I'm really scared. It might be Jake, but you know, that's how it goes if you don't really kill it the first two nights, you know? And your audience isn't the same audience as a show. You know, it's how it works. Even if you're really young and really athletic. So... It's 10.34 now. I had... So. The show ended. Jake and Jenna were voted off. You know, I was hoping that he was... He's kind of a charmer, you know? Everybody kind of likes him. But... Yep, he's gone. I was sure it was going to be Rick and Emma, but apparently he was like a Michael Walter. But everybody was really entertained by him. Anyway, not thrilled about that, but I'm going to have to move on. There's some other great stars. I just really wanted to see Jake be successful. Like, when you look back to last season, the first one to go was Geraldo Rivera. He hardly moved. Jake put a lot of effort into his dancing. Now, he messed up a few times, but it wasn't like Geraldo Rivera, like, hardly moving so they could hardly judge him. Jake was actually giving them something to judge, you know? Season before that, Chaka Khan was the first one to go. So he didn't 
really move either. And before that was Red Foo. Which I feel like this is more of a Red Foo situation. I mean, he gave it all he had. But it just wasn't enough. So the audience really didn't connect with him. Well, it's kind of sad, but that's the way the show goes. I think it's really rare that someone 21 or really young gets voted off first. I don't think that's ever happened. I think it's always been an older person. Wait, no. Lolo Jones. She was older than that, though. Anyway, Tom said that next week is going to be like kind of like a dance-off like they've done in previous seasons, but not really. So, the 12 couples, each, the couples will be paired up, and then they're going to have a dance-off, and the winner of each dance-off is immune. So they didn't explain how the points are going to go, like, or maybe it'll just be votes. But, um, I don't know how fair that is. Like, if you put James and Laurie together, like, if Laurie wins, that, and then James is safe, but then say you put, I don't know, Rick and Maureen together, and then Maureen's safe, I feel like James shouldn't be in jeopardy, and Maureen's safe, you know? I mean, I, I hope they do it, like, kind of like they do in, like, the NCAA tournament. Like, they have the best against the worst, second best against second worst. I mean, like, of average scores. You know? I feel like that would be a lot more fair. Because you can't, like, have the two worst dance-off and then the two best dance-off. It just wouldn't be right. Or maybe they'll do, like, random kind of... Or they let the stars choose, like, they're doing the dance-off. I don't know how it's going to work. I just don't want to see, like, a really good couple being in jeopardy and then another one just being automatically safe because they had to go against a really bad couple. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to all my videos. And I'm just a bear living a crazy life who is sad that Jake's going home.